Hello everyone. In this video, we shall learn how to solve ordinary differential equations using Euler's method. What is an ordinary differential equation, also called as an ODE? An equation of the form dy by dx is equal to f of x comma y is an ordinary differential equation. Here dy by dx is the derivative which can also be written as f dash of x or y dash. Usually in the question they will give it as dy by dx or y dash. And we will also be given the initial values that is x naught and y naught will be given. Given x naught and y naught. Step size h will be given. Step size and interval will also be given and this interval we are going to consider as x0, xn. So in this interval whatever x0 is given that is going to be the first value in the interval until xn we have to keep on adding this h until we reach xn and we are going to find the values of y correspondingly. Now we shall find all the respective values of y for every value of x. So first value we need to find is y1 which is equal to y0 which is a previous value y0 plus multiply the step size with uh, f of x comma y is given in the question. So RHS will be f of x comma y. In this we will substitute we will replace x with x0 and y with y0 that gives you f of x0 comma y0. So this is the formula to find y1 and this should be repeated for all the further values that is for y2 to find value of y2 we will take the previous value y1 again we multiply h with f of in this case uh, for in the function uh, that is given in the question in the RHS we are going to substitute the previous set of values that is x1 and y1 and Subsequently, for yn, we are going to take yn minus 1 plus h into f of xn minus 1 comma yn minus 1. And yn, in yn, we are going to actually consider xn values and until xn, we are going to consider this. And this is uh, how we solve a question of uh, this type. So what are these x1 up to xn minus 1 values? It's just we keep on adding h uh, that is the step size to get the subsequent values of x. So here xn is actually x0 plus n times h. So basically x1 is x0 plus h, x2 is x0 plus 2h or Whatever previous value we got, with that we can add h. First, list out all the values of x by increasing it in step size h. And then correspondingly, we will substitute these values in the, in the formulas listed above. And we will write down corresponding values of y. So this is solving an ordinary differential equation of first order. Let us understand this with an example. So here I have a question. First order differential equation is given. Initial values are given, interval is given and step size is given. Please identify the values first. So this is x0 and this is y0. So the value might be given in a different way. So they might give y of x0 equals to y0. So this is one way of giving. So whatever is given inside this brackets after y that is going to be the x0 value and this one is going to be the y0 value. Or sometimes they might also give like this. Assume that y equals to 1 when x equals to 0. This way also they might give. In this case also whatever is given we take it as x0 and y0. This is the initial values. And as I mentioned uh, this is our interval and this is the step size. Now first we check here for the solution. First we need to check whether the question is in the standard form. Standard form is when LHS has only y dash, y dash or dy by dx. Suppose it has something like 2y dash equals to 1 minus 2xy. Then take this 2 to RHS and then you can cancel and simplify and then take it as the uh, question. That is going to be your equation number 1 because LHS should have only y dash and whatever is there in the RHS that is going to be our f of x comma y. So make sure it is in the standard form. Now 
for in this question it is already given in the standard form so let us write down uh, given differential equation given differential equation is y dash is equal to 1 minus 2 x y this I am going to mark it as equation number 1 here whatever is there in the RHS 1 minus 2 x y that is going to be our f of x comma y and and uh, initial conditions we will write x naught is whatever is there within the bracket which is 0 and y naught is 1 and always whatever interval is given here the first value will be given in this uh, uh, initial conditions always it will be given and now starting from this we have to write until 0 0.8 now let us find all the values of y corresponding to every value of x by increasing x in step size given step size and uh, h given is 0 0.2 now first we need to find out what is f of x naught comma y naught f of x naught comma y naught which is equal to f of 0 comma 1 now whatever is there here in the RHS rewrite that by substituting x with 0 and y with 1 so it's going to be 1 minus 2 times of 0 into 1 which is 1 this is f of x naught comma y naught now we will find out what is y1 y1 is equal to y0 plus h into f of x0 comma y0 which is equal to y0 value is known here which is 1 plus h is 0 0.2 into f of x0 comma y0 is also 1 so this gives you 1.2 so I am writing here y1 is equal to 1.2 so this is the first value that we have found now before we start before we write the formula for uh, y2 we will first find out f of x1 comma y1 f of x1 comma y1 what is x1 x1 is x0 plus h x0 is 0 previous value with this we are going to just add the step size which is 0 0.2 so we will get 0 0.2 here and y1 we have just found in the previous step which is 1.2 this gives you 1 minus 2xy 2 into 0 0.2 into 1.2 this is 0 0.48 which gives you 0 0.52 after finding f of x1 comma y1 now we will find out what is y2 y2 is equal to previous value is y1 plus h into f of x1 comma y1 so y1 is 1.2 plus h is 0 0.2 into what is f of x1 comma y1 we have got here 0 0.52 gives you 1.304 so y2 is 1.304 the same procedure is continued until we reach uh, 0 0.8 for x value now the next value that we need to find is f of x2 comma y2 which is equal to f of see x1 is 0 0.2 the next value is going to be step size we have to add so it is going to be 0 0.4 y2 we have just found which is 1.304 now what is f value it is 1 minus 2 x y 1 minus 2 into 0 0.4 into 1.304 we get minus 0 0.0432 so this is function value now we will find y3 y3 is equal to y2 plus h into f of x2 comma y2 this gives uh, y2 is 1.304 plus h is 0 0.2 into f of x2 comma y2 is minus 0 0.0432 we get minus 1.29536 i will write it as 2954 and this is y3 1.2 2954 now we will continue doing this until we reach x as 0 0.8 so next is uh, f of x3 comma y3 
x2 is 0 0.4 therefore x3 is 0 0.6 and uh, y3 is 1.2954 so this gives you 1 minus 2 times 0 0.6 and 1.2954 this is minus 0. 55448 I will take it as 5545 now let us find y4 y4 is equal to y3 plus h into f of x3 comma y3 what is y3 it is 1.2954 plus 0. 0.2 into value over here is minus 0. 0.55 we get 1.1845 you can even approximate it to two, two digits I am taking all the five four digits so this is y4 now now for the last value we will find f of x4 comma y4 which is equal to f of 0 0.8 comma y4 is 1.1845 and this is equal to 1 minus 2 into x into y so 0 0.8 into 1.1845 which is equal to minus 0 0.8952 now we will find what is y5 y5 is equal to y4 plus h into f of x4 comma y4 so y4 is 1.1845 plus 0 0.2 into minus 0 0.8952 we get 1.00546 which we can approximately equate it to number 1 therefore y5 is equal to 1 or if you want you can even write 1.0054 uh, we have taken all the four digits here maybe if we had taken only two two digits we would have got only uh, y5 is equal to 1 now we will tabulate these values x values and y values and we will start with x0 x0 starts from 0 0 0.2 0 0.4 0 0.6 and 0 0.8 and let us write the corresponding y values uh, y here we got 1.0054 and the previous value for y was 1.1845 when uh, x is 0 0.4 we get uh, y3 is 1.2954 and when x is 0 0.2 y2 gives you 1.304 and when x is 0 y0 was 1 so this is our uh, solution for the given question in which we have an ordinary differential equation we have initial conditions and interval and step size for this value of x value will be given so x naught y naught will be given and starting with this keep on adding 0 0.2 and write down x values so starting from 0 we have written we keep on adding uh, 0 0.2 0 0.2 0 0.4 up to the last value given in the interval corresponding y values we need to find before finding y values first find out f of x n minus 1 comma y n minus 1 then find y n so we first find f of x naught comma y naught then we find y1 then find f of x1 comma y1 then find y2 so this is the uh, two line steps for uh, for each and every value of y and before starting this procedure make sure that it is in the standard form that is in the lhs you should have only dy by dx and rhs whatever you have this is going to be f of x comma y this notes is uploaded in our telegram channel link for which is mentioned in the description below so if you have not yet joined the telegram channel you can join so whatever is being solved here the same thing with some more uh, uh, problems will also be uploaded in the telegram channel uh, keep watching 
see you in the next video bye bye